In the fall of 2011, the UC Irvine men's soccer team won the Big West title. They proceeded to lose in the first round of the NCAA tournament, a devastating way to end such a positive season. In 2012, the Anteaters proved to be unprosperous, finishing the season with a mere five wins. However, the young 2012 team has grown under the guidance and leadership of the four seniors, making them into the successful 2013 team that they are today. Hi, I'm Ella Rosenfeld with UCIrvineSports.com and Anteater TV, and this is a look into the successful season that the Anteaters have had so far through the eyes of the seniors. thoughts coming in from the summer to start the season off? Um, the summer, uh, you know, we started off pretty not too good. Uh, my junior year, I wanted to come in the season with the guys we have, uh, Tark, Marco, Kike, and myself. Uh, we wanted to come in and definitely show something different. Uh, we knew that we were good our junior year. Just, I don't know what it was. Just couldn't get any wins, it seemed like. And then this year, uh, Definitely doing better as a team, and I don't know, just something different happened that we're getting the, the results. Last season we had a, a really young team. Um, I think half of our roster consisted of um, you know, freshmen and a couple of transfers. Um, and you know, we were a little bit inexperienced, and we gave a lot of games away in you know, the last 10 minutes and even in overtime. And um, you know, I just didn't think we had that extra little push to finish off games. And um, we were a little bit inexperienced in that area. Um, but this year, you know, I think we're, uh, we have a couple of more games under our belts um, as a team and um, as a starting 11. And uh, we know each other's tendencies and we know, the, you know, the way we all play. Um, yeah, the senior class, has always been close since since I came in. Um, that this class of guys, like my sophomore year, my junior year, my senior year. Um, well, right now there's only four seniors left: me, Kike, Marco, and Chino. But um, we've been really close. Uh, but we made sure not to um, be too close where we, you know, kind of separate ourselves from others. But um, I've known Marco since. Uh, since my freshman year of high school. So we've played together for a while. Um, so we've actually gotten close, we've been close for a while. And um, I think we try to integrate, you know, all the young guys into the team just so that, you know, we have good team chemistry. And it's, you know, it's been a proven factor this year, especially just because um, we have a deeper team and we have guys who can come off the bench and everything. So I think team chemistry this year is great. Um, besides the fact that the seniors have been close for so long. Marco, kind of over the summer and in preseason, what did you do to prepare for your senior season? Um, you know, one of my goals was um, to always be playing. And uh, I played with a couple different teams um, over the summer. And, um, you know, I worked individually on my skills, um, stuff that I needed to improve on. And, um, you know, some of the days I worked with um, some of my teammates and um, we would incorporate, you know, fitness and stuff like that. And that's one of the main goals of the team is for everyone to become in fit. So I think um, I did a pretty good job of um, maintaining my level over the summer. But at the same time, I didn't want to come in preseason being burned out and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So um, I think that was just my main focus was to keep playing and, and keep my level up. Yeah. Pretty unique. Um, I think uh, we're really dynamic. You know, we have a little bit of everything: you know, athleticism, um, skill, power, you know, finesse, speed. Um, so you know, we can change our game up whenever we need to. Um, and if we need to adapt to other teams, you know, we can. And I think we're a really hardworking team, you know, defensively and offensively, and uh, we're pretty deep. Um, but overall, I think that everyone's just pretty focused and um, everyone knows what their, their goal is and what their job is to do on the team. I prepared uh, better 
for this season than I have for previous years. So that's something that I did different. I think it's helped out a lot so far. Um, and yeah, um, as you can tell with our record this year, it's it's made a difference. I think for a lot of other guys as well. And I'm really interested in soccer and becoming successful, not even like during college and after college as well. We want to hopefully play the next level and just some dream we all have and want to accomplish. Yeah. As a senior, what does it feel like knowing that these last couple months are going to be the last times yeah. you're ever going to play no. college soccer? It's gone so fast. Uh, we have, I think, five, four games yeah. left. Um, it's crazy thinking that we were here just a couple years ago. I felt like I was in the dorms last year. It's crazy knowing that we have these last few games left and then uh, that's it for a color season. Yeah. And what do you hope to leave as a senior? Like. The legacy that you hope to leave for your team? A uh, national championship for sure. Uh, yeah. We want to win one. We think with the team we have this year, I definitely think we can do it. And hopefully we will. I think knowing that's one of my last practices here and for my last couple weeks here, hopefully more if, when we get further into the yeah. tournament. But um, it's definitely a little emotional knowing that it's the last couple of practices and games, but uh, it's all worth it in the end if we win that national championship. Well, the coaches look for me now. I'm basically the guy who like organizes everyone, uh, gets everyone ready and focused, and you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to do that. You're getting closer to the end of your senior season, and you're going to be done with college soccer. What are your plans for after that? Uh, I definitely want to try to go professional. Um, you know, it's not, it's not really up to me. <laughs> uh, I think, um, you know, the further you go into playoffs and into the NC2A tournament, you know, the more exposure you're going to get. Um, you know, um, people start to recognize that, you know, you're a good team and, you know, the further you go, you know, people, more people start watching. Um, you know, scouts start coming from all over the nation and um, they want to watch you play and, and see what your team's all about. So I definitely aspire to go far and to pursue playing professionally after college, but um, you know, I'm just going to take it day by day, week by week, see how it goes, and if something comes up, then I'm definitely going to take my opportunity to keep playing. Yeah. As far as individual, I think that once you get to that level, um, you know, you need to play well and you need to showcase your talents. and. You know, that's when scouts are going to see if you're ready for the next level or if they want to pick you up. So um, I think it has to do with both. Um, you know, you need a lot of team exposure, but at the same, same time, you need individual talent to get to the next level. Um, I want us to be, be known as, you know, a, a successful team. Um, you know, I think our program has, has come from a long way, um, you know, even from my freshman year. Um, we were pretty successful and junior year we dropped off a bit, but I think um, this year we're picking it up and um, we have the potential to be, you know, one of the best teams in the country um, when we want to be and when we're focused. And, um, you know, when I leave, I want the program to succeed and to stay atop, um, you know, not even in the West, but in the nation as well. With the 2013 season coming rapidly to an end, it's only a matter of time before we see the legacy that this team will leave. And once again, I'm Ella Rosenfeld reporting to you for UCIrvineSports.com and Anteater TV. We'll see you next time.